All right, so we're looking at uh, parallel lines. This is question number three. Are the lines represented by the following two equations parallel or not? And justify your answer. So um, third question on parallel. So by now we know we're looking here really at slope. And we know that we can't really make any determinations until we have isolated y's. And so I'm going to take two seconds and do those divisions on this equation dividing everything by 2 to isolate that y and that's going to leave me with y is equal to negative 9x plus 36 and on um, the second equation I've got a little bit of extra work to do so I'm going to add the 288 to both sides and that's going to leave me with 8y minus 72x is equal to 200 and 88 and then I'm going to add 72x to both sides and that's going to leave me with 8y is equal to 72x don't forget your x and don't forget that you can't add that 72 with the 288 because it's 72x right that has to stay distinct the x term from the constant and now I'm going to divide everything by 8 um, and when I do that uh, you're going to see that I get 9x plus, better check this one, 288 divided by 8, I think gives me 36 as well. So um, I'm now ready to answer the question, are these lines parallel or are they not parallel? Remember, parallel lines have to have the same a. And you can see that the a over here is a negative 9. whereas the a over here is 9, positive 9. And those numbers are not the same. A 9 and a negative 9 are not the same number. So these lines are not parallel because they have different slopes. And if the slopes are different, the lines will not be parallel. Now, one thing I'm, I will point out to you uh, it's worth mentioning is what if this had also been a negative 9 right so what if when I did the calculations you know if this was a positive 72 and I had to bring it over and subtract it if this also became a negative 9 now you'd be tempted to say they were parallel in fact they would be parallel right if they had the same slope but remember there are two types of parallels and I just want to remind you what's interesting in these equations is they have the same y-intercepts so if this had been negative 9 x plus 36 the same as this then that would have been two lines that crossed right over each other they would have been coincident lines parallel and um, coincident because one would overlap the other they would have been exactly the same equation and it's worth pointing that out but because those slopes are different from each other well we know right away that those are not parallel lines